Time now for our AL.com questions of the week. If you have a question for Coach, just go to AL.com slash Tiger Talk and submit your question each week, and it could be asked live on the show. Visit AL.com slash Tiger Talk today to get your questions in. Both these concern uh, uh, Nick Marshall. First one comes from uh, J.M. Tiger. says, Coach, do you feel that Nick has progressed enough this year to take that next step in becoming a future NFL quarterback? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, he's one of the better quarterbacks in the entire country, and like I said just a minute ago, I feel like he's one of the better overall players in, in the country. He's definitely an NFL player, and uh, – you know, I think he's uh, much improved, and I think he'll do nothing but get better. What What do you think when you're when if you're an NFL guy and you're looking at whether or not a guy yeah. is is that next level can help yeah. your organization? What do you think those characteristics are well, in the modern day? Yeah, I'd say playmaking ability. Yeah. I mean, in our league, what he's done, and you know, I've not looked at uh, the the records about who he's played right. and all that, but he's played numerous top twenty five, numerous top ten, and he plays his best games, and he's got the ability to make plays with his feet. Uh, he's got a great arm. I think everybody saw that the other night when he threw it 67 yards in one step right there and threw a dart. So, you know, he'll get nothing but butter. Well, and that, uh, that the touchdown pass and then the one going right to left as we watched it yeah. was the other direction where he threw the one when Sammy Coates made the great yeah. grab. Mm-hmm. That one was off his back foot too and extremely Yeah, he had a guy in his face yeah. right there. And, you know, and their defense is extremely yeah. fast. And he made some plays with his feet that were really phenomenal. All right, Mike from Birmingham has our other question. Also concerns uh, Nick, says, Coach, I've always been concerned about turnovers with Nick wearing a glove on one hand. Saturday night he had a glove on both hands. He played great anyway. But could you explain if there are benefits to wearing the glove or is it just what Nick's comfortable yeah. doing? Well, it, really the bottom line is it's what he's comfortable mm-hmm. with. And, you know, uh, him and Coach Lashley have you know, had numerous conversations about that. And, of course, from my standpoint, you know, as long as the guy's comfortable and he mm-hmm. performs well, if he yeah. wants to wear three gloves, he's fine with me. <laughs> but uh, – you know, that's just what he – it was a cold night. Yep. And, uh, you know, his ball security has been good this it year. It really has. And uh, so I'm all for it. All right. Let's uh, go back out to the audience in the back there. What's your name question for Coach? Paul Schauber, War Eagle, Coach. War Eagle. Coach, I'm old defensive guy. It was great to see us having a little good pass rush Saturday night, and our run defense has been uh, really yeah. good. Seems like maybe last couple of games our uh, pass defense, uh, secondary has kind of got picked yeah. on a little bit. Uh, get you to comment on that a, a few minutes. Yeah, uh, you know, our run defense has been very good. There's no doubt. And the other night we definitely got some pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, two weeks in a row we've had some issues in the secondary that we're trying to clean up. And we really feel like we can. There's a lot of areas that we're improving on. Uh, the fact that we played two pretty good pass teams, you know, the last two weeks had something to do with that too. All right, appreciate the question. Coach Johnson was talking, I guess it was last night, that, that on defense – you're still working on communicating better on the field. Kind of talk about what, what he's talking about there in terms of communication on yeah, the field. Yeah, you know, the big thing he's talking about is all 11 guys on the same page mm-hmm. uh, communicating. And, uh, you know, believe it or not, for a defense, sometimes it's harder at home because it's so loud sure. on third downs and all that, and it's a little bit easier, uh, you know, on the road. And I feel like we improved, you know, from the South Carolina game, but we still got work to do and we need to improve on our communication a little bit more about the pass rush because that was a huge key in that football game and and it's it's so very important in this game to get the rush with four guys if you can and i thought the defensive front was terrific yeah there's no doubt i mean you you know the key to playing really really good defense is being able to put pressure on the quarterback with just four guys and you know we definitely took a step forward uh, you know, it was this time last year that our, our pass rush really got better, and that's that's been the plan, and we need to keep improving. All right, let's go back out to the audience. Another question, and uh, what's your uh, name and question for Coach? Go right ahead. Hey, Coach, War Eagle. War Eagle. Uh, Jason from Auburn Junior High, and a bunch of my friends dressed up as you for Halloween. <laughs> we were wondering how you're going to get Coach Pearl back for dressing up as you. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Coach, Coach Pearl dressed, came yeah. out at uh, the big Pearl Jam last uh, Friday night yeah. or last Thursday night all dressed up as, as Coach. He had all the mannerisms going That's what on. I heard. Yeah. He was saying run it, run it, and yeah. quick and all that stuff. <laughs> I, it was pretty impressive, you know. I mean, he, he's a he's – a, uh, He's really good at what well, he does. I mean, that, that's a hard guy to top right there. Well, and I'll tell you something else. I mean, he's he's very visible and, and loves some football. He loves you guys, yeah, I know. he really does. He's been a true blessing, uh, you know, to have a part of our family. And, you know, it's going to be fun in basketball season. I know that. Well, and we've got, uh, in fact, basketball coming up Friday night uh, here on the network on some of our stations. Uh, the exhibition game uh, begins at uh, 8.30 Central. And we'll be on the air at 8 o'clock, Auburn and West Alabama. That game, an exhibition game, mind you, 
is standing room only. So if you haven't received, gotten your seats, good luck because you'll be standing if you show up uh, Friday night for, for basketball. And, of course, the regular season starts the, uh, the following Friday night. One more question before we get to, to our next break from the Academy Sports and Outdoors inbox. It comes from Mark. It says, obviously, we seem to be more successful when our offense goes fast. Uh, Mark wants to know, why not go fast all the time? Well, it, the main thing is you've got to get that initial first down. Mm-hmm. And if you really watch us and study us, most of the time after we get the initial first, that's when we put the hammer down and play fast. You know, there's certain times in games that, you know, there's uh, a little bit of strategy that if you go fast, you could possibly have a negative play. Right. And so there's a little strategy that goes with that, but, you know, probably – Eight times out of ten, I mean, we're putting the hammer down and rolling. All right. Appreciate the uh, question, Mark. Uh, we'll get to more of your questions here in the audience. Uh, when we return, also email a Academy Sports and Outdoors inbox, Talk at gmail.com, and then you can send us questions via Twitter at Voice of AU Tigers. Victory Grill is our great location here for Tiger Talk. We'll be here every Monday night prior to home games at 7. We hope you'll join us, and we'll also be here throughout the month of December with Coach Pearl and others, also into uh, the winter and spring here every Monday night. While you're here, enjoy a great variety of made-from-scratch menu items to go along with the Auburn-themed atmosphere and the over 70 flat screens to enjoy any sporting event. The home of great food, great fun that will be a hit for the entire family. Won't be here next week because it's prior to our road trip to uh, Athens, but we'll be back here in uh, two weeks with uh, with Coach Gus Malzahn prior to the final home football game of the season. More of your questions and more with Coach when we return on Tiger Talk. Stay tuned. 